Hello there. What are you here for exactly? Oh, right. You're here for a tour. Quite lonely here, isn't it? Let's fix that. There you go. Planet Earth. Now, let me take you to a small country full of islands called the Philippines. This is where I study, Baliwag University. One of the most outstanding schools here in the city. What's so great about it, you ask? Well, it is granted full autonomy by the Commission on Higher Education with level 4 course accreditation status. Now what in the world does that even mean? It means that the school can offer more courses without actually needing the approval of the Commission on Higher Education and... Midterms. Advertising kay Sir Romeo. Eh, Oh, ano pecha na. Mo na lang kasi yung edit mo. Di ba dapat picture lang Good day everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depends on the time you are watching this. And welcome to What the Fox presented by Yours truly, me, Rickson. So today we will discuss fun facts about Baliwag University. I don't want to waste any more time, so let's get right into it. For the first fact that we have is that Baliwag University was once a small institute. So the school underwent very significant changes from being an institute to becoming a junior college. Then later on, it was renamed to Baliwag Colleges. Years later, fast forward to the early 2000s, the school was finally granted to become a university. Hence, the school that we have today, Baliwag University. Baliwag University is more than just a university. It is a home for students to learn, achieve, and of course, have fun. For the next fact that we have is that Baliwag University has level 4 course accredited status. What does that mean? So, the institution was granted full autonomy by CHED, allowing the school to operate as a self-regulated institution with level 4 course accreditation status having the freedom to introduce new academic programs without the approval of the Commission on Higher Education. So, in simpler terms, the university has the freedom to offer new courses, create new courses, without telling CHED, without seeking the approval of CHED. BU is that powerful, you guys. Third fact, Baliwag University offers various scholarships. Yes, BU offers a lot of scholarships and I'm going to mention a few like the Gintong Ani which are for the academically excelling college students. These are for the undergrads. Next, we have Harvest. These are for the masteral students who are also academically excelling. We also have Principal Scholars. It is for those top or highest ranking students in each elementary grade level. These are for those who are consistently on the top rankings. And last but not the least, we have loyalty program. These are for loyal students of Baliwag University. By loyal students, we mean students who have studied here for long enough. For example, a student studied here since his or her junior high school years. Now that student would receive a scholarship during the pay for his or her tuition fee. Now, why does BU offer a lot of scholarships? Well, it's because the university is committed to providing financial assistance to deserving students, which enables them to pursue their education, of course. For the fourth fact, we have Baliwag University balances the academic and non-academic activities. So, Baliwag University is all about supporting students in finding their balance between their schoolwork and their non-academic activities. They have a lively and welcoming community that encourages personal growth, participation, and a healthy balance between work and play. Baliwag University is not just academically inclined. They also participate on extracurricular activities like Bulprisa. BU does not want their students to feel burnt out nor bored. Again, it is a home for students to learn, achieve, and of course, have fun. For the last fact that we have, is that BU offers a lot of programs such as basic education, senior high school, liberal arts and general education, business administration and accountancy, nursing and allied health sciences, education, library and information science, information technology, engineering, hospitality management, tourism, and many more. Actually, the university does not only offer a lot of programs but also organizations and I'm going to name a few. 
since I am a part of the College of Business Administration and Accountancy, CBA for short, I will name those orgs under this department. We have JPIA or Junior Philippine Institute of Accountants. These are for the accountancy students. We also have JMA, Junior Marketing Association. It is for the business ad students majoring in marketing, such as myself. And we also have JPhoenix or Junior Financial Executives. It's for those business ad majoring in finance. And we have CBAASO or College of Business Administration and Accountancy Student Organization. This is the mother org of all the sub-orgs that I have just mentioned earlier. There are also orgs outside this department that I have just mentioned like Student Ambassadorships. This is being a student ambassador. You will serve for the marketing team of the university. I was actually a former student ambassador and my task was... Being a video editor of the official BU page, I edited a 7-episode short interviews of successful graduating and alumni students. Another one is the Teatro Hiraya. It is the official theater group of Baliwag University. I was actually the former editor, FB page manager, and the leading creative. Well, that's it. That is all for what the fucks? Thank you for your attention, thank you for listening, thank you for watching. For more information and further inquiries, check the notes here down below. And for incoming BU students, be one step closer to the wide range of opportunities with Baliwag University and discover the best in you. Adios!